<laughs> the new aura kind of voice. That was like a, the first panel pop off I've ever seen. Could have started to get a bit hairy from there as you took a blood rage by ZYD before they started to put the pressure on it. But to be careful now as the wraparound comes in from Pycat and PPD straight away on top of XCJ. And that will be your first, but they want to give it to Quinn on CC, CC Alchemist and they'll get it. CC. Through the right clicks, PYW actually finding PPD very low. He's got the toss, and the right clicks will get the kill. PYW finds PPD. Jin Q not quite able to get 33 as 33 will dive away. Yes, pretty much even with that. CCC's be out top lane. PYW finding CC and C in the Ooh, jungle. He might be in trouble here. Zai's there with the wraparound, finds the opening stun. PPD closing the gap as well with the magic missile. As the three of them will find him. CC and C able to get some more money. Zai will get ruptured, has a TP available if he wants to go for it. That's pretty tanky, and we'll go for it after the reflector with Spike Carapace. Bottom lane, Pycat finding XCJ. XCJ will slow him He's down. He's going to get him. One more touch will do it, and he gets it. A solo kill. 33 or PPD will go back with the toss, looking to juke out the Ray. Coming out from 33. Can he keep himself alive? Ooh. He can't. The Fiery Spirit finishes him off. 33, Icarus dives to the side and goes straight for the TP out. We'll make the Tiny when they have the Tiny and the Storm Spirit. They just send that Storm to the jungle and Tiny farms the lane. Ooh, bottom. She's already used the doppelganger. He's trying to hide. Can he juke his way around the tree line? He can. Oh. He's still alive for now. They can't quite go to a pipe. He does him. have the Earth Shock to finish up the kill, but now he's underneath the tower. Jin Q controlling him, slowing him down here with these right clicks as Pycat pops the stick charges. It will not keep him alive as they punish the dive there. That's probably why they have those double bottles on both Tiny and Storm. GGG she has Doppel. We'll be able to back himself away as the TP's coming in from the storm. They're sort of turning and indeed looking to set up as Jinq zip for 33 yet to hit the level six, so we'll be bursted. No chance for a supernova. Pycat already using the enrage, so there's still the chance to drag it back with the four There's gonna be a buyback from 33, but Pycat cannot be saved. The chain frost comes out from XCJ and Frost down bottom, but they've got a level six tiny and they want to try to find CCNC. Here we go. We get eyes on twin. CCNC. We'll lose the chemical rage, they'll turn towards the mid, Zai actually finding the setup, but there's the avalanche from PYW onto two turns with the toss, onto Zai, Zai has the spike carapace out. He'll stand his place, get out of the block right, oh, the three going for the egg, Serenity, can they take it down, now the fire spirit's on, here comes the sword, oh. they, they get it in time, they get the final touch, and now ZQ looking for more, drags in a second, Zai still able to get him foot off, just free farming with his alchemist, CCNC still been doing so. But they're trying to invade it as much as possible as we see them try to smoke again. They get some more zap up. PPD. Straight in they go with the rupture. No chance for Bar oh, looking towards GQ, but it's obviously a very hard kill for them to get. They can get the stun into the damage of Pike and maybe not, but that's how they do it as well. Remnant, Carapace, bam, that's enough lockdown. Good catch off the golf guard. That's mid. CCNC. There's the egg. And they will go for the egg here, but they will turn, and with the right clicks, they'll be able to take it down again. Serenity dealing very well with the 33 supernovas as they'll find that tier one. Zeroes there they could actually get. I think one of them might not have been hit by the fire spirit. GGG. As far as CCC, GGG's very deep here, and he is pretty much entirely alone. A doppelganger down to low ground, but Zai Pike out there, they're ready and waiting for him. He's got to be careful how deep he goes, GGG. Yeah, I'm sure we've seen sort of 33 dying and such, but the space has constantly been there for CCNC. He's very close to his relic, and again, uh -oh. a set of Spike Carapace off the back of the remnants. Jinkyu, he has to be careful farming aggressively like that. And they do have high ground vision for now, but PPD will take that one out. And, and he'll we'll play with, with his life. life. Yep. Straight in PYW with the blink combo. Zai is... I mean, Jin Q, if he presses Q, he's probably going to die. And this time, I will not wait for that. Just go for just a bit of damage. They got the toss back. They found CCZ. Get swapped out. But the burst is high enough. Serenity finding the Alchemist. A big kill for them to get. 33 goes for a supernova, but it's well out of range of any of the members of Serenity. Oh, the, 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 the stun. Despite characters. Jin Q just zips into his own demise. He goes straight over the ball lining. They have the stuns out. Now, Serenity, they've got to be careful. They've lost their Storm Spurs. Yuji is pretty low. The Spike Carap is there from Zai holding PYW back. PYW gets the blink up with the Sunray from 33. Finds GGG, looks towards XCJ. Pycat's able to get the double kill. As and now they will unify themselves up top. Zai, you can see him already ready to lead out again. And there we have it immediately. Every time. The PL. They look for the magic missile onto PYW as well. Chain Frost is out from XCJ. They're trying to be down onto Pycat. They do toss Pycat away, but PYW is pretty deep now. Zai's still there on the sidelines. PYW turns towards Pycat, but Pycat gets the slow up. The Fury Swipe stacking up. 
They do have the sentry down here. He's on. He's been found. They managed to finally see him. He does get the spike carapace out. Can he actually get himself away? He cannot. So they will kill off Zai. He does get the bounty rune as he dies, though, at least. See, actually, around the pit here. Pike has him to find the only onto GGG. Gets the pass. GGG's gone. They get the jump. It's one onto BYW. Two dead around the pit. 33 is chasing down for more. He's got his eyes on XCJ. The fire spirits out onto the Lich as well as XCJ will tick out. Optic Gaming may have lost side, but they take a confident fight around the pit. Jinkyu's able to get in and on top of PPD. But Roshan could change things around. It almost feels like they need a gem because of how obnoxious size being, but they don't really have the gold to go for. I think just getting ready with more sentries, but again. Zai is just setting up so much here for the team. Put down by Serenity. They need to, yeah, they need to just buy as many as possible. Like PYW's even starting to buy some we'll on the coming in here, but there we have it. That's how easy it is, you know, you buy to take that sailor, he's still alive for now, to shows himself up, Zai, is he really going to this? Oh, the Chain Frost will finish him. They get in with the Chain Frost, but they lose both ZYD and... Double the net worth of the Bloodseeker that won the lane. He's absolutely massive, CCNC. They do have an Orkin picked up on the storm on the side, PYW does find the opening, but again, Zai lives. It's not enough damage to burst him, Pycat in on top of the Tiny, there's the Zip Frigate Q, will finish off Zai. Turns towards 33, but there he goes, he, he unlocks it, assembling the Eon Disc, goes forward with the Icarus Dive, has the, the Supernova from the high ground, ZYU is fighting back, does manage to finish off CCNC there with the BKB. The Supernova successful, Zinq still alive for now, he's low on health, he's got a bit of mana left, does have to be careful with 33, looking for the Sunray connection. As he zips himself away, CIYD starting to a lot though, they are low on Optic, he's found a third, he's got the double kill, they're kiting up Pycat, GGG with that Diffuser Blade, burning the mana, Pycat getting slowed down, the Blood Bride will kick in, there'll be a buyback coming up from PPD, he's coming across looking to make it's difficult, we just see the Earth again cutting up over and over again from that PL, and even though we saw that, you know, that cute usage, as well as that Supernova from 33, it wasn't enough for them to take the fight. PPD will find XCJ, swaps him back into the claws of Pycat. Smoke. Can they catch Optic Gaming off guard? There's a full solar crest Oop. picked up on 33. Zai heads across. Look at the sentry down. They do have eyes upon him. He's keeping himself with the HP. YW tries to the combo with the spike carapace out. CCNC straight and away with the concoction onto the Lich. That's going to be XCJ down. The Yule Scepter throwing him up. Got a the pistol. pistol blade from Pike and a follow up with the control onto Jin Q. PYW getting dove upon by 33 with the Icarus dive. It's Optic. Fine three. GGG. Also being eyed up by 33, is able to doppelganger down to the low ground, but again, Optic Gaming taking these fights, Zai's positioning. Dis Zai is looking for him, doesn't get the carapace onto the home input. Do they have the stun follow-up? Oh no, it's Quinn doesn't quite get in, and he stuns himself. They're actually going to zip over to him, but it's a bit of a bait, because Pycat's there with the abyssal. Jin Q comes back in for that. Zai still alive, finally gets taken down. There's going to be the buyback here from Shinku. They're looking for the big team fight. Turn around, can they get it off? The Sunray there onto PYW is to dive forward into the Supernova. Comes out from 33. ZYD looking to chase down PyCat. Can't quite finish off the Ursula's. PyCat survives. Jin Q has to be carefully brought back for this one. Does come back in on top of PyCat with the zipper. CCC's there with the Kukon to the bash. Comes out, they lose PyCat. ZYD moving incredibly fast at the moment for the amount of stacks that he has built up from the thirst. Going for CCNC. The Solar Crystal 33 out onto CCNC. CCNC will be disarmed. ZYD gonna head himself away now. That's the stun. Alive for both of them. GGG still alive. Trying to sneak away under the Shadow Blade. Will he get away? They again and try to look for those fights. Is he mid? Oh, he's trying to play with them a bit there. Yeah. He's gonna get punished for us. The dust coming out, so CCC has the vision. I think it was Zai. Zai from the low ground, popping that dust, making sure the vision yep. was there for CCNC to land that concoction. GGG actually, he was it the he doubled forward and then he kept his he sent his illusion backwards and he kept his hero actually. How well can Serenity defend the base? CCNC straining he goes, does get ruptured and tossed back. But he's still pretty healthy, he's at half hours, getting healed up as well by the Sunray, pops the Manta style, does get silenced, but there's the jump, Pycat, straight on top of ZYD, and ZYD just gets ripped to pieces, will buy back straight away, the Chain Frost bouncing between Optic, PPD with the swap, trying to keep Pycat safe, as there's the Sopanova out for 33, GGG looks to get on top of it, trying to take it down, but now back off, he's on the retreat, the Supernova's gonna catch him. him, they have the dust, Zai's there with the stun, that's gonna be GGG taken out of the game for 75 seconds, he does not have buy 
There's now Optic, ready for more. Shin Q comes in with a big sip. It's not quite enough damage to get any of the kills there. PYW, you're getting bashed. Pycap finds another. Zipping again from Shin Q. He gets shields up. Do they have the control at the back of the heels? They do the stun come down for Zai. They hold him in place. Shin Q's out, does have buyback available. But the bottom racks, looking to be in trouble as Optic. Push on forward. Serenity just having to keep themselves back in the fountain. As Optic. We'll clean up the bottom set of racks, and with all tier twos already taken, the rest of the teammate, the rest of the teammates are back in on Serenity. 20 seconds until GGG's back in. As a second set of racks starts to go down, they get the swap. See what he's straight into the bash. The abyssal drop down. ZQ will zip him with the vortex, zips back out. But now ZYD gone for 100 seconds. Jump forward from PYD with the avalanche toss combo. Finds the venture spirit, but he gets chased out. The bash has come out. Can PYD get himself back to safety? ZQ trying his best to save him. Keep the attention away. He's looking for 33, but ZQ he's pretty much out of mana. You can get a couple more procs off. Zai does get taken out by GG, but the bash is there for Pike and into the concurrent. Action. That's the UID gone as well without buyback as Optic Gaming still up as a full five man as Zai buys back in. They move after an up and down run through the group stages and trying their best to, to move forward for the low bracket. Looks like they may have finally met the green wall that's the ready to stop them. Optic control onto PYW. He's surrounded. The supernova's out again for 33 as PYW will buy back straight away. But there's still no storm, no Bloodseeker. The top racks getting taken down by Optic. Radiant's top and Serenity. They may give it one last go. They won't. They'll they won't. tap out. GG is called. Optic Gaming take the series 2-0. to zero And we'll be moving forward once again here in this lower bracket. And Serenity have reached the end of the road here at TIA. They seem to have a pretty good aggressive playstyle going on for the first 15 minutes, but then they just, they hemorrhaged so many kills. That one, you know, they got the toss back, that one situation near the Ancients, they got the toss back onto the Alchemist, but then everything just became a total disaster. They lost several heroes after that, and it, it was really just...